What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Noah Cavanaugh. I'm a professional soccer player down in Perth, Australia. So today's gonna be sort of a day in the life of a pro on the off season. I'm gonna go up to the training facility right now. It's about 5.50 in the morning, so a little early, but no problems here because the sun comes up at about five. So really excited for training. I'm gonna get some lifting in and then I'll do my own technical session. I've got a whole schedule laid out that's actually over here that I'll show you guys in just a sec. So it looks something like this and this outlines basically what I do on the off season. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, so for the off season, uh, I've got a schedule like I showed you in the intro. This is what it looks like. So we've got Monday through Sunday. It's two one-on-one -on -one sessions with Shane, who's one of the guys at the facility. So he's one of the owners and founders of this Two Halves Football Development. You can check them out on Instagram, etc. Today, I'm just getting packed up because I will spend probably most of the morning there. It's obviously 5.50 now but I'm gonna be spending like probably now till about noon. I gotta get all of my clothes sorted out and uh, be on my way. You might notice that other YouTube footballer type people, those of us who are all doing off-season series kind of at the same time, I know a lot of the world has now stopped their football, everything's done with until the next season starting right around the January era. You might notice that everybody trains at a different time and that's just because that's sort of a personal preference thing. So unless you have appointments with specific doctors or appointments with coaches to do one-on-one -on -one sessions, etc., things like that, it really depends on the person. So again, it totally depends on when you want to train. I find that I work the best in the morning because then I have the rest of the day to film, to do video editing, and then to do some of the other projects that I've got going on. So it gives me the rest of the day to do it, and I feel like I have the most energy in the morning. As you can see, it's not even 6 a.m. in the morning, and I'm just like absolutely buzzing. I'm going to bring some electrolytes with which again you know what they are i've shown you in multiple videos now these uh, electrolyte sugar-free sticks i will be eating a banana before and i will also be having a scoop of something when i find it ah yes little extra bcaa's during my workout i feel that it helps with active recovery and hydration and all that stuff especially when I'm lifting now five days a week, which I don't do during the season. That, ooh, got the other one. Pay attention here, come on. So as you guys saw, we are at the training facility. This is what the gym side looks like. And then I'll bring you guys over into the football side, which is super cool as well. How's it going? So super cool. I get to train here five or six days a week. And yeah, super stoked. I will sit you guys down with Shane in just a little bit. Gonna get my lifting session and my mobility session done, and then we will go from there.
All right guys, so just finished up with the lifting. Fantastic work with the glutes and the hamstrings, and then obviously a little bit of the calves and soleus muscles as well. So that was fantastic. Gonna hop on the field for a little bit, do some work. Gonna get some easy touches in, some passing, some juggling, and maybe a little dribbling and finishing. So just really quick, half an hour session, just to get the legs moving after that lift. So this drill is really great for really tight dribbling stuff. And then just turn around the cone and finish uh, as if it was a pass, like turning around a guy and then finishing. God, these hiccups are bad. I don't know why, that's so dumb. Gonna do one more set of these with a little bit of different footwork and then a turn instead of around the cone. So like a really sharp turn of some sort and then play outside like I'm passing and then I'll get into some little bit of finishing at the end. <laughs> Around. Um, I'm gonna go to the other side, see if I can get some with the right foot. it for shooting maybe do a little bit of freestyle juggling but after that that's it my body and my legs are very sore i feel great though very excited about this facility obviously it's pretty amazing so yeah all good things and i'll see you guys in a little bit gonna get my stretching on get some recovery 
in in the recovery room upstairs and then go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I am back at home. As you can see, my house is kind of a mess right now. I need to get some cleaning going. I've got to sort all my stuff out, but I went to the grocery store and I got some fish and avocado and what else did I get? Some spices for the fish and some of the other meat that I'm gonna to cook today and some chickpeas. So lots of good lean protein, some plant protein obviously. And then I'm gonna make a scramble right now. It's 11.40, so it's a little later. I've actually taken the last two hours. I had to drive home and it takes me about 45 minutes, especially in traffic. So, and then I got to the store, had to do the store thing. And then I actually talked to my parents for a little bit. So shout out to uh, mom and dad, love y'all both. I don't even think Australia does Halloween as, aggressively maybe as the u.s does but aside the point that's not really soccer content that's more just like i don't know cultural things here i will get some editing done and sit in my normatech i keep saying normatech my recovery pump boots so talk to you guys in a bit All right, fam, so I've been doing some thinking recently about sleep patterns because obviously sleep is one of the most important, if not the most important, maybe behind hydration for a professional athlete or anybody who's really, really active and wants to be at the top of their game. So sleep obviously is so important and recently I have not been napping as much just because season has ended, there's no competition going on and there's nothing that I need to be like totally switched on for. But I do find myself in this space in the middle of the afternoon right now when it's like one o'clock where I just feel absolutely horrible because, well, not horrible, but like just really, really tired. And I figure why not try to nap today see how I feel. Again, I am getting up pretty early because I am a morning person. So maybe my issue is that I, if I nap in the early afternoon and then fall asleep early, that might help. So gotta make sure I'm taking the time to rest my body, get that R&R, &R, and as that sign behind me says, parasympathetic eating only, which basically means only eat when you're in a really relaxed mind state because it actually helps you rest and digest. All right guys, just woke up from the nap. It felt super great. I'm gonna head over to my friend's house now, start doing some video editing. I've got a spare key so I can get into the house, which is fantastic. And I will do some work over there for a couple hours before she gets home. And then we're just gonna hang out, watch some Game of Thrones, have some dinner, and just relax for a nice Friday evening before tomorrow when I get up and go for my last run or workout, I guess, of this first week of off season. I will catch up with you guys when I get there. All right, guys, so at my friend's house now, I'm gonna hop on a video call with a mentor of mine. I always stress to, especially close friends, find somebody who you really vibe with and who's older, who has more life experience. Maybe they're an expert in something that you wanna do in your life, but make sure that you're able to hold on to those people, cling on to those people because they will help you get to the most incredible places in your life and they'll give you the advice you need to succeed. So in about 10 minutes, I'll hop on that phone call for about an hour. We are Skyping Perth to South Africa and she is helping me with some personal branding stuff as you've seen in a lot of the new logos that I've been posting, as well as just some life advice stuff. So that's been fantastic. There we go. I'll talk to you guys in just a bit. Okay, one downside to living and working in Australia is a lot of the houses don't have aircon here. And so this is just an ice pack that I will be having on my face while I talk to my mentor slash life coach because it is really, really hot, really hot. So if you are thinking about coming to Australia, just understand that it is very warm, especially if you come to Perth. It's like very, very hot. So not a bad thing. Actually great for off-season training because I get in really good shape, but it is brutally warm in the summer.
and we spoke for about 30 minutes about how Australia has gone, how playing here has gone, and just looking forward to the next, because there's theoretically two transfer windows. One happens in the December, January time, and then one happens like May, June, sometimes July-ish. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but I, I think that's that's kind of the first thing that came to my mind to chat about today, just because it's it's kind of like a hang tight, we don't really know yet, you could be moving back to the US or to New Zealand in December. All right, guys, just finished up the meeting. It went so, so well. I'm really excited for a lot of the stuff coming in the next couple weeks that I will be announcing on the channel that I've been working on for several months now. Super excited for that. And yeah, just gonna have a pretty busy actually rest of the day. I've gotta get some videos edited and get all the rest of my tech stuff sorted. I've got some things from Krista, who's my coach, and she and I have several things that we're working on right now. So I've gotta get all that sorted online for the next couple hours. And then I'm going to be here hanging out with some friends for the rest of the evening. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. And I'm sorry I'm being very cryptic because this is something that's very near and dear to my heart and I've been working very hard on it. So, but it, don't worry, it will be coming very soon. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, fam, we are about to have dinner right now. We have some Thai food, which I'm so excited for, really just ready for some delicious food. And yeah, that's probably gonna be it for the video. Alana, do you wanna say hi? Hello. <laughs> All right, so as always, guys, be awesome, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.